And how we doing everyone? Matthew here, Victor, Victor Alpha One, Mike Romeo Tango. Um, to continue on with our second part of the update of the FTM 300, we are going to now do the second part, which is the, the sub version, which is actually the head of the radio. You see here, this guy right here. And the process is pretty well similar. Um, we went through before and we downloaded our, all our files and we put them all into a, a folder here and make it convenient for us. And we've unzipped them. So, and if everything worked out for you before, you shouldn't have to install any drivers. Everything should be ready to, ready to rock and we can uh, we can head on through so let's uh let's head over to our folder and open it up fdm 300 sub version 12 open that guy up. and we'll make our files a little bit bigger here so we can see and here we go we have our fdm 300 sub version so just like we did before, we click on that and it's going to bring us through the setup process. Double click that. Yes. Okay, here we go. So first complete the communication environment like before, setting, then press the update button. Uh, when updating the firmware of the model for the first time, press the USB driver. So like I said before, if you, we've already did the main so we don't have and if it worked for you we don't have to use the usb driver install we've already did it so let's go on and we'll click update and then it'll bring up here before updating make sure to follow the preparation procedure and for details refer to the pdf file disconnect the power cable from the main body switch the program switch on the panel unit to update side we'll do that in a second and connect the data terminal on the panel on the unit side. Okay, so let's just pop over to the radio and uh, we'll show you what switch that we're doing. You can also go and follow the, the manual itself and it'll tell you, show you exactly where the switch is at. But just for the video purposes and we're going along in it, I'll, uh, I'll just pop over to the radio and we'll uh, we'll show you okay so here we are at the back of the radio and as you can see on the screen here shows update and normal our little switch here at the bottom is set to normal so we want to come in here I'm just using my trusty little screwdriver and go on to update there we are it's up there don't force it if you're gonna force it there's uh, definitely something wrong but there we are we're on update so let's uh let's head on over back to the pc but since while we're here we may as well plug into our radio Zoom out. okay Back over to our radio here. And we are just going to take our handy cable here and plug it on the end of the side. Just like that. So let's head back over to our computer and we'll uh, we'll get get going on the setup process again. Okay, now that we're back over at the computer. We have everything set up and ready to rock. Here, I get my power back on here. Okay, now we connect the data terminal to the panel unit of the PC using the USB cable, like we showed in the video, and connect the power cable to the main body of the power supply. So, after we did all that, let's click OK. And there we go, one USB device located. So, what we're going to do, we're going to click OK. And it shows our update. 
updating bar here. And if we did everything right, it should start start going through. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. This one seems to take a little longer to get going. Not like the last one, but don't uh, don't worry, it will uh, it will go. I suppose depending on the uh, PC you're using and the uh, CPU, it could uh, could go a little bit faster. But um, she's uh, she's going so. Not going. It's not going too too bad. Hope, uh, hoping these uh, these videos I'm doing is uh, helping helping people out. I know there's some people they were kind of uh, reading through the documents and they were kind of kind of afraid to do it. But uh, since we're uh, we're going through it together, hopefully uh, hopefully you guys like it. And it's not going too, too bad. We're pretty well done. I think I get the most nervous in this last 10%. I don't know why, but it's always that, you kind of wait for the complete or ready to hit OK. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Firmware update is complete. Perfect. Okay, now, we have this screen up like before when we did the, uh, the main version. Uh, did disconnect the power cable from the main body. Uh, disconnect the USB cable. Connect to the data terminal on the panel unit. Switch the program switch from the panel unit back to normal side. So, just like we had in the, the video before, we switched it up to update. We must bring that back down to normal and connect the power cable to the main body. To, this, to supply power, perform all reset, and check the version number. So let's pop back over to our radio. We'll, uh, we'll switch that back over to normal. And we'll go through the process of getting you back to showing where the, uh, the version is at. Okay, here we are back at the radio. As you can see, we're still in update. So we are gonna get in here and bring it back down to normal. Here we go. Back down to normal. And we'll flip the rate, flip the head unit back around here and go through the rest of the procedure. We're gonna bring up the software version and we'll do the all reset again. All right, now we got our radio flipped back around here. Got some hold the power button. Brings it back on. Press and hold the F setup. And we want to go to display number five software version. And there we go. Our sub version is set to 1.2. There we go. That's uh, that's it. So, like it says in the instructions, we're gonna do a factory reset on this guy again. Back in here, reset. Factory reset. Complete. Shut off. And we're going to go through the whole rigmarole of putting our call sign back in. So, we'll do that right quick. I know it's a bit of an inconvenience, but it is what it is when we got to upgrade the firmware on these guys. I don't like it, but it is what it is. I suppose I don't have to put my call sign in. Everything's saved on the SD card. I'm just going to eventually load all the information back from that into this, so. But, there we go. We want to do a quick check again. Press and hold F setup. Go to display. 
back down to number five, software version. And there we go, our sub version is 1.2. So let's just uh, pop back over to the computer and we'll finish this guy up. Okay, we're back over the computer. Now that we, uh, we performed the all reset, we put in our call sign back in and we checked the version number. Just click OK, bring us back to the screen, and we'll, uh, we'll click exit. Exit that. So that was it for updating the uh, the sub firmware version of the uh, the FTM 300. Went a little quicker than last time, so I hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. Um, what I think we'll do is, after this video, we'll uh, we'll do the uh, the third part of the setup process. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next video. This is Victor Alpha One, Mike Romeo Tango, saying seventy three.